Shalom, uh, uh, Prime Minister Omer. My name is Yoshua Yaakov Ben Abraham. Uh, it's an honor to meet you. This video is to brief you on a matter far more important strategically to Israel, cloud Israel, than the Middle East peace process, and specifically that matter that is so important is the end of exile, and more specifically in science, it is confirmed by the collapse of the local reality, period. It began February the 26th, 1991, with the start or the beginning of the invasion of Iraq when the U.S. forces drove Saddam out of Kuwait, in fact, George Bush's father. And subsequently, in the same year, on December 25th, 1991, there was the collapse of communism in the Soviet Union. This is uh, and what was the local reality in the Soviet Union? It was it's communism. That's what collapsed, despite Putin's disclaimers and denials. Uh, additionally, it visited Israel on November 5, 1995, with the um, murder of Rabin. And what was the local reality in Israel? Then, in sense, that collapsed Zionism. Ahmad Dijan is uh, going to be thrilled to hear that. But the actual good news uh, for Israel is that we've entered irreversibly uh, with the collapse of the local reality. Uh, we've entered the beginning of the redemption because after the collapse of the local reality comes the quantum reality and what is that? The quantum reality is redemption and what is its central organizing principle it is receiving to give. What replaces Zionism that collapsed? Humanomics. Humanomics is what? Humanomics is the east-west convergence model. Uh, because communism has collapsed in America, whether they acknowledge it or not, on 9-11 the collapse of the local reality also came to New York, in particular in America in general, and it was a watershed event uh, in respect of Klal Yisrael, uh, and has complexities and details that the narrative, uh, the meta-narrative, there's the official narrative of the event and there's the meta-narrative. Uh, other videos have been made uh, and they can be accessed on my in my YouTube library that explain it. I'm not going to go into it here because this briefing is to be very focused. So the most important thing that the Prime Minister of Israel has to know is that there is incontrovertible and irreversible evidence and proof empirical and logical in science and otherwise uh, that there is a phenomenon uh, uh, confirmed uh, uh, which our sages predicted that is going around the world and in physics, it's called the collapse of the local reality because when the local reality collapses, you're in the quantum reality. We're not inhabiting redemption in the quantum reality. Why? Because Klal Yisrael is in denial of the collapse of the local reality. And more specifically, uh, because the collapse of the local reality means the collapse or end of Zionism. And we have to end the denial, we have to deconstruct ground zero, and we have to deprogram the mind of exile. And those are the national priorities right now, and you're the lead from the front. I prayed for you, and so did uh, uh, many of the sages of Israel, uh, that you should be uh, sustained in your post. You have been and you will be, uh, uh, and your detractors will be uh, sent away. This briefing is very important, and you must know and you must understand and you must act upon this briefing, and even more particularly, um, uh, this event changes completely the agenda. Uh, the dividing of Jerusalem, do you take a 40-carat uh, perfect diamond that's worth $40 million that's flawless and you do, and you chop it in half uh, so that each person gets half uh, because, uh, so because they're arguing over it? <coughs> We're not going to be dividing Jerusalem with God's help. <coughs> and the peace will, uh, everything is going to change dramatically. I'm not going to start predicting but in the redemption, um, uh, all options are on the table for a very different ultimate reality of peace. Uh, that said, Bush has problems that are uh, completely dwarfing his interest at this moment in the peace process. And whether you can expect his return uh, to Israel uh, is, uh, is questionable. He may, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Far more importantly, you have something in uh, the didactic scientist in this video who's briefing you, you have in that 
didactic scientist, a solution for Mr. Bush. And specifically, um, I'm the author of Humanomics, which is the East-West Convergence Model that replaces Zionism. It also replaces capitalism and communism globally. And it's comprised of two new paradigms, the new economic paradigm and the cognitive behavioral science paradigm. The new economic paradigm uh, is the solution to Mr. Bush's um, uh, now uh, apparent, uh, although not yet confirmed, um, recession. And uh, it will allow uh, the American president to articulate a new domestic policy and uh, move America and the G9 forward to a solution, not only to his domestic economic policy and program, but also to uh, on behalf of the G9. And that's what you are to uh, be briefed on uh, in detail so that you can brief Mr. Bush and deliver to him that solution because that very solution, the next president of America that follows Bush, will be coming to you to uh, uh, to deliver uh, uh, through your, uh, your your didactic scientist who's been virtually under house arrest by uh, Avi Dichter and uh, his predecessors and all of the ridiculousness uh, of the things that have been going on since uh, uh, 1987 when I made Aliyah. Uh, uh, it's been a long slog and a not a very pleasant experience, but Baruch Hashem, it's all from God. You are briefed. Uh, the redemption has begun. Uh, man, man and mankind's exile is here. Uh, Israel is blocking in, uh, the ascent of man to inhabit the quantum reality. And uh, general terms and in specific terms, the redemption by inhabiting their authentic singular self that's that is within receiving to give these details and the particulars that explain all of this you must be briefed on and uh, together uh, we must find a way to end the denial and lead from the front and lead from the front means that the world leaders are going to come to Israel and to you and you're not going to be going to Mr. Bush and uh, Mr. Sarkozy and so on and so on. They're going to recognize implicitly and explicitly that here is where the origination of ideas, content, and uh, the agents of change that are now upon uh, man and mankind globally are, uh, are coming from. Uh, having said that, it's an honor to meet you in person, uh, even though in this uh, uh, probably inappropriate way via video and I will send you an email and attach this uh, click uh, I would like to meet with you I apologize for not being properly dressed in, for this video uh, and I will brief you and uh, you have to it's your call you have to decide uh, uh, what uh, what you believe has to be done and in what order and how to proceed and having said that again my name is Yeshua Yaakov uh, I want to also uh, r remind you, not only did I pray for your and, and, and uh, uh, your being retained uh, and to passing through your difficulties, but uh, I thank you because you're the only public figure in Israel uh, who put in writing a letter to me uh, when you were mayor of Jerusalem, uh, congratulating me on my life's work, which is now uh, the new central organizing principle of the nation state of Israel and the Jewish people. And for this accomplishment, uh, history will be very kind to you. Having said all of that, I thank you. And I would like you to lead from the front and end my uh, pseudo house arrest since 1987 and all of the uh, nonsense that's been heaped on my head uh, uh, from various uh, uh, smaller minds in the political echelon of Israel. And uh, I wish you Godspeed. And um, uh, uh, let's be specific uh, and come to Taklas. What you need now and for the years to come, I have, and it's my responsibility to see that they're delivered to you. And uh, it's your responsibility to see that they're properly used. Uh, thank you again. And. Uh, my email is yyba at zahav.net.com.
tahav.net.il and my phone number is 026 and uh, 